Okay, so this is about the Chroma mod for Rust. I'll focus on the client. First of all, there's an installer for the Rust Chroma mod. Okay, first thing you run, and it scrolls Rust across the keyboard. And you'll want to enter a host. So this takes keyboard input, H for host, and you type in your host, whatever that might be. The port defaults to 5000. We'll set that on the server, whatever that might be. And already I can see there's a player on my server. And I'll go ahead and connect to Rust. So you launch the game, hit F1 to enter the connection. So I'll say connect, uh, client connect, and enter the address of the server, 20, port 28015. This will connect to the server. And then I've also got a, the Chroma mod on the server running there. Okay, and now we're connected. We can just minimize the client. And this client will run the Chroma effects depending on what kind of server events are happening. And F1 to dismiss this, and we can now respawn. Okay, so we're spawning. There we go. There's a list of Chrome events that we can expect, so sprinting, jumping, ducking. We just saw the respawn, player death, when I connect or disconnect, fire a crossbow, hit a rock with a rock, hit a tree with a rock. All right, so let's go through and see if we can get some of these to occur. And uh, here's a picture of what they might look like. Okay. So we saw the spawn, let's try switching to a rock. So if you scroll, there we go. There's the rock animation. So if I switch to the torch, here we go, the torch, back to the rock. Okay, and shift to sprint. Here we go. All right, uh, hit the tree. There we go, there's our hitting the tree animation. All these animations uh, will fire in parallel, so if I jump or run at the same time, uh, they will blend together uh, with the hotkey animations that are cycling. Okay, so jump, see there's a jump, sprint, there's yellow, um, there's also a ducking, there we go, duck animation, kind of goes up up and down with a yellow bar. Ah, here we go, a rock. Okay, and there we go. So you can see there's a slightly different background. So we have, okay, so I had a tree. That background's kind of greenish. And there's the rock. Here we go, some barrels. Hopefully they're not exploding. All right. Okay, some... Including this barrel. There we go. If I switch to an item that's not the rock or the torch, I get this switching animation. Now, if I throw a spear, I should get a throwing spear animation. There we go. All right, so if you want to see all the animations, you'll have to get the Rust Chroma mod. That's an overview of the mod, and thanks for watching.